In the interest rate quadrant, taking a look at the September 10-year note futures, which in the midst of a rotation higher, the futures are rotating higher for the second consecutive session, while so far being in the midst of an inside range day. But that may not last, as right now we are nearer to the highs than to the lows, with a little bit of time left in the session. The 10-year future is basically sitting up 0.2% at around 113.10.5. The high today, 113.11, was up 0.21%. So we could actually have a higher high as the session goes on. We look at the low, 112.31, that was only down 12 basis points. So overall, we're looking at a fairly quiet session. The 10-year note yield is down two basis points right now at 3.88%, and the twos, tens inversion is sitting at negative 18, one basis point lower than Friday's settlement of negative 17. Rate cuts are still influencing the curve itself, especially the two year and the 10 year. Probabilities of 50 basis point rate cut in September continue to drop with a 25 basis point cut now being dominant at a little bit under a 75% probability, according to the CME Fed watch tool. The market is still pricing in rate cuts at every meeting through March of 2025. Then it's pricing in a pause in April of 2025, then another, another rate cut in June of 2025. But the significant change we've seen since last week is the December 2024 meeting is now listed with the highest probability being a 50 basis point rate cut. And that's an important change. And if that somehow gets, uh, let's call it bolstered by speeches at Jackson Hole, you could see increased volatility. But for now, treasury volatility continues to drop. Hitting, high, hitting levels, I should say low levels, not seen since April of this year. It's basically been in a downtrend since then. So watching as the week goes on for that Jackson Hole meeting that starts on Wednesday, the FOMC minutes, which is also released on Wednesday, that's when you could see an increase in treasury market volatility. But for now, we're, we're hitting lower and lower levels on that sort of gauge. So keep an eye on that if you are trading interest rate futures. Thank <laughs> you.